Welcome all, this is Pokestarters, coming to you with my first ever video. I am a big Pokemon fan, playing ever since Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. I've been wanting to do some kind of playthrough of Pokemon for a while now, and I think I've found the perfect way. One of the best parts of Pokemon for me has always been the three starters, the first Grass, Water, and Fire-type Pokemon you have to pick from in the beginning of the game. I've always loved this Grass, Water, Fire dynamic, and to me, these starters are the real mascots of both the games and the generations. And I know all of you out there have your very own favorite starters too. I thought I could put the two together, and so I came up with this channel called Poke Starters. My goal in these playthroughs will be simple, to find out which starter truly is the easiest to use in each of the main series Pokemon games. I will do this through what I think is a different and unique way. I will play through each main series game using each unevolved starter that is available for use, and try to defeat the boss battles in the game with the starter at the lowest possible level it can be. So we will be using the Generation 1 starters in all of the games, the Generation 2 starters in every game except for the Generation 1 games, the Generation 3 starters in every game except for the first two generations, and so on. That's right! By the end of our journey, we will determine whether we can beat Pokemon Gold with a level 37 Cyndaquil or Charmander, Pokemon Emerald with a level 39 Mudkip, Totodile, or Squirtle, or Pokemon X with a level 38 Chespin, Snivy, Turtwig, Trico, Chikorita, or Bulbasaur. You will know who the best Grass, Water, and Fire-type starters are per game, and who the overall best starter is for each generation. Feel free to share your favorite starter and submit your predictions now in the comments. For the purposes of our run, only the starter will be used for all the important boss battles in the game. I defined boss battles as the gym leaders, the rival battles, the leaders of the evil organizations, main storyline battles, the Elite Four, and the champion. Therefore, secondary Pokemon will be needed for lesser unimportant battles, such as random Pokemon trainers we find on routes, the evil team grunts, and the average trainers inside of gyms. So our starter Pokemon does not gain unnecessary experience points. Pokemon will also be caught using HMs. Now, in order for this to work, TMs, held items, and items in battle are a must. Now, I admit I hardly know anything about berries or in-battle items, as I usually make sure my Pokemon are strong enough to win battles before I even start them, so please bear with me as I learn what an X-Attack and other like items are. We will keep track of the lowest level each starter is able to be at in order to defeat the game's important boss battles, and how many attempts it takes to do so. Also, in order to avoid unnecessary experience point gains, the game will be shut off if we are defeated so the starter does not level up as we battle these important trainers. I've never seen anyone do anything like this before. Most challenge runs I've seen ask whether the game can be beaten with a particular Pokemon. Well, here on this channel, we are going to assume that yes, we can beat the game's biggest bosses with our beloved starters, even at a low level. Most challenge runs I've seen also avoid using items, which I understand they make the battles much easier to win. However, those challenge runs do not mind leveling their Pokemon to level 90 through 100. I think our method of trying to win the important battles with our starter at such a low level will just be as difficult even with items, and I think we'll be restarting the games quite often. I wanted to see how low the Poke Starters could beat the games using all the resources the game makes available. Just imagine Red's face if we beat him with only a starter at say level 36 or maybe even lower. So if you like the Poke Starters as much as I do, then join me. I think we're in for a good ride. I hope you will enjoy this as much as I will, and also have some other fun ideas for the channel I think you'll enjoy as well. We're going to have a lot of fun with this. I love themes. So for each grass starter, we'll name them after green vegetables you might eat in a salad, according to what each physically looks like. I will start off the challenge runs in Generation 1 with Bulbasaur in Pokemon Red. I've never played this game before, so please bear with me. Be on the lookout for upcoming videos. Our little Bulbasaur here shall henceforth be named Broccoli! This is Pokestarters, and I'll see ya in the next one.